Scores of anti-corruption organizations have berated the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission for flouting the Child's Right Act by revealing details and identities of minors whose parents are being investigated of alleged corruption. Addressing a press conference in Lagos on Monday, the anti-corruption organizations condemned the EFCC for not considering the safety and protection of the minors as required by both international and national laws. The group made specific references to the case of the immediate past governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bello, whose children's names and other details were reportedly made public by the EFCC. The anti graft CSOs expressed shock, arguing that the commission had recklessly exposed the affected children to all manners of dangers. Children cannot be made collateral victims of the alleged indiscretions of their parents even when proven you get that yes. children cannot be made collateral victims of the alleged indiscretions of their parents even if proven guilty law is about justice justice is about humanity yes. humanity is about our common good as a people when minors are exposed to public and peer ridicule in the name of investigating their parents, no matter the allegations, such minors are automatically subjected to excruciating trauma that they don't deserve. The press conference and protest was the fought by the human rights crusaders since they began the struggle to demand that the rule of law prevails in the ex kogi governor EFCC face-off. The chairman of the Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, Kakol, Debo Adeniron, who led other activists on a peaceful protest shortly after the press conference, noted that EFCC could have achieved its objectives without doing anything that could be viewed as attacking the sensibilities of these children. The coalition therefore demanded apologies from the commission and the affected parents to the minors. I know enough of child psychology to understand that in their vulnerable state, they may suffer irreversible trauma when subjected to undeserved pressures that destroy their self-esteem. Going public with the details involving minors is a direct violation of Section 35 of the Child Rights Act that prohibits all forms of harmful publication about a child because it's their future that you are damaging by so doing. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.